Hello everybody, this is Dustin with Pickbox. I'm gonna show you the easiest way to print with your Pickbox photo booth next. Welcome back. Let's talk a little bit about how to print with your Pickbox to the software called SnapPick. Okay, so things you're gonna need. Of course, you're gonna need a Pickbox iPad, we use an external device, computer. We use a Surface Pro hooked up to your printer. Now those talk to each other to be able to print. And then we have our router here. We'll get into a little bit more about how important the router is in your communication process with your printer. Okay, so first thing you wanna do is you wanna go in to your iPad, go into your privacy and security, then go into your local network and just make sure SnapPick is able to talk to external devices. Okay, once you do that, then you're gonna close out. Okay, you're gonna open up SnapPick. Okay, so we're open. Okay, so now we're in the process where now we can talk to our Surface Pro. So for you, you're gonna need some type of a print server, and of course, you're gonna need the SnapPick one. How to find it is go into Google, search SnapPick print server. You're gonna see the link. Once you see the link, then you'll be able to go on that link, and it will just walk you right through on how to download your print server. So we have our print server downloaded on our Surface Pro. Okay, we're gonna call our print server Pickbox print server. Okay, in order for these two devices to communicate to each other, you need some type of a Wi-Fi or some type of a signal. So in the industry right now, you know, venue Wi-Fi's, there's a lot of firewalls, you could have a hotspot, they go in and out of service. Okay, some people are hardwiring, but we've learned over, man, about two to three years that all you need is a router, an external device that throws off a signal and it communicates very well. So nobody else is on the signal. It's throwing out a strong signal consistently and you don't see any type of drop print at all. So the only problem really is that this is not hooked up to internet. So the photos can't go out immediately once they're taxed. How we get around that with our bride and grooms or corporate clients is we just kind of let them know, hey, if the Wi-Fi is spotty, the photos will go out later that night haven't had a problems in the last three years of doing this process. So now you're gonna be on the same Wi-Fi as your router here, Netgear is a good brand. Okay, so I'm on the same Wi-Fi, same Wi-Fi, the same signal from the router. I'm gonna go here to configure your printer and you can see it here. So it's picking it up right away. Okay, so we'll click it. We're gonna start our photo booth process Okay, we'll start our booth and now you're hooked up. Okay, so no problem at all. We'll get a nice photo going. Okay, here we go. Five, four, three, two, one, smile. Perfect. Okay, so different types of filters that you can add as you go, but we'll go to next. You got your printer. Okay, it's giving your option. You're gonna press print and then you can hear it, it's thinking, it's going right to your printer, and you can just hear the printer click on, and then you can go here in text, right? Share, and so we got it printing, it's coming out, okay? So good, simple process. We found out in events that, man, this thing will work, and it won't disconnect throughout the event, and you're always very, very, very reliable. But now you get into that question, well, man, the text messages aren't sending out right away. Don't worry about that. So what we do is, let's say it's a dinner break, let's say you have speeches, you have a period where the guest or the client's guests are not coming up in a corporate event, right? Or not coming up to the booth to take photos. So what we'll do is we'll go out, we'll find our hotspot that we brought, Okay, we'll click onto that hotspot. Okay, this is why you have a break. Okay, and then we're hooked up. We'll go back in. We'll go back into our back area. 
put our passcode in, okay? And then we'll go right into the queue. And then once we get into the queue, and we can now send out those photos. So now they're waiting to go out. We can upload those photos, and then those photos now will be able to be uploaded, and you'll get that text immediately once you're done. And then when the guests come back, then you just do the same process again. Go back and find your router that's hooked up. Make sure you go back and configure it. And look, pulls right back up, and there you got it. You'll start your process once again, and you're ready to go. So this is how you can print with SnapPick to a PickBox photo booth. If you have any questions, please reach out. We're always here to help. Thank you very much. See you later.